Something that I want to sort out on this car is the way to measure oil. And so what we're going to do is sort the dipstick out. I don't mean this one stand, <laughs> stood next to me. I mean another type of dipstick. So you, Tim, give me the camera. I've never done this before, so bear with me. Right, Tim, mm -hmm. I want you to find the dipstick. Let me just open the bonnet. And it's not the one that's waiting. Okay. okay. So, so where would you normally... limited knowledge of cars, I need to be finding the dipstick somewhere around here. And it's normally got like a... Well, my car has a yellow little toggle thing on it. Okay, so find it. Where is it? Well, he's still stood behind you. Yeah, he's there. Um, usually it's around here. Correct. But you are it? right. But on this particular vehicle, no, that is the uh, washer fluid that he just looked at, the big blue one. No, take the camera. That's where your oil goes. This car does not have a manual dipstick. And you think, well, that doesn't matter, does it? It does, because if you're on circuit and you want to take a quick measurement of oil, which most times you do, you have to go through a really laborious process. The car has to Drain be it out the Exactly measure that. It. Yeah, <laughs> measure it. Measure Put it back it. in the top. Exactly that. Yeah. Filter it through. It's a long process. So we're going to make it more simple and we're going to upgrade to a manual, possibly the most expensive dipstick we'll ever find. So retrofit. Retrofit kit. Like it. Let's get into this one. Sam's going to explain a little bit more shortly, but I'll leave your dipsticks to it. So here today, we're going to be fitting the first of a series of motorsport parts going on our mini JCW. As you can see, namely a, a dipstick retrofit kit. So we've got this to reinstate what Mini and their infinite wisdom have deleted. The whole idea behind this is it negates having to sit and wait for the observation period time on the digital dipstick and so on and so forth, having to get it up to temperature. So really handy when we're track side track days, we want to make sure it's got the right amount of oil in it. We can do it with a quick dip of the stick rather than waiting half an hour on the dashboard. So it looks like a small job here because there's only a small amount of parts. Oil, oil filter, genuine, and the sump gasket sealant, which should allude you to the fact that actually it's not that small a job. I'm going to have to pull the sump off the bottom of the engine and do a few bits of modification in order to get the bottom end of the dipstick to fit. So I'll take you over to the car. There's not a lot to see from the top side. Um, so it's on the ramp. First things first, we'll be going up in the air, under trays off, sump down, and then I'll bring you into the next step. So just a quick rundown for those of you that don't know, this is the mini iDrive, call it what you will, command center. Um, so this is from factory, the only method you have for measuring the oil level. So you have to go into your computer, find the measure and oil level. It tells you what you need to do, which is only possible after a longer drive, approximately 30 minutes. So I've just been for a test drive, um, having fitted all our induction kit just to make sure everything's okay. Um, so now I can just show you and do your quick measurement beforehand. So not only does it have to be up to temperature, you then have to allow it the time to sit, raise the idle and go through the percentage as you can see, before it then tells you whether or not you need to put any more oil in there. So we're over a minute now, I've sat here waiting, we've saved you guys the bother by cutting it out. But as you can see, 99% 100, you get your digital dipstick at the side and it says all is okay, which is great if you've got the time an inclination to do that but for us certainly track side we'd like to be able to just quickly before the car goes back out take a measurement don't have to worry about the onboard computer or anything like that just repeatable reliable mechanical method in the engine bay will do me just fine as it always has been since the dawn of time so stay tuned watch the process by the end of it hopefully we'll have a mechanical dipstick that will do away with all of this
So we're back with the JCW Mini. Those of you who are keen followers of this car will have already done a game of Spot the Difference under here. I think Tim posted something up. And the answer is yes, a dipstick. So after many hours, a good couple of days the car was on the ramp whilst I was trying to figure it out, we now have a manual dipstick, which those of you who own these cars will probably agree, it's a hell of a lot easier than the digital dipstick on the dashboard, which works perfectly fine if you can get the wind in the right direction on the right day at the right time and so on and so forth. Um, but for us, when we're at trackside, we just want to be able to quickly dip the stick, check it in the usual way, bit of tissue, pull her out, wipe her off, dip again, and the level is good. It's quite difficult to read, um, but I have tested it against the digital dipstick and it all matches up, which is great. Um, so when we're out on track, just so we can keep an eye on things, I'll be able to do that nice and quickly. Um, as said, it's a lot of work. This is a mini challenge part, so thank you to the guys at Mini Challenge for supplying that. Um, however, I would estimate that there's quite a few differences in the way that things are implemented on the road car to the challenge car. So if any of you guys out there have got a challenge car we can take a look at or send some pictures over, that would be really great because um, there are a few things that we'd like to tidy up, including this here. Uh, original cold air intake, as you can see, interferes quite a bit with our dipstick. If I take the stick out, it will just about sit on its locating pins there. Um, we are hoping to retain that to go with our nice Ram Air induction kit. Um, so stay tuned for some modifications on that. I'm going to get busy with something I haven't quite decided what yet, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but until then, that's the end on this one. Uh, we're quite happy with it. Uh, we need to go out and test our new intake kit, which has gone on at the same time. Um, so thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next instalment. And until then, like, share, subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much.